Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. It's a, just a short reaction video on the kind of the big, big news of the day. Um, sadly, it's for events off the pitch again. Um, and again, sadly, it's very, very negative news. Um, look, we've all heard the WhatsApp clip um, by now. It's been doing the rounds. It's, to be honest, it's nothing new. Well, it's nothing that we didn't, you know, the rumours have been coming out the last while. Um, we all knew, you know, things hadn't been great in the camp. We all knew there'd been a couple of busts up uh, with Roy Keane and a couple of the players. And, you know, Walters was mentioned. Daphne Arthur was mentioned once he pulled out of the last squad. So it kind of really just gave a little bit of substance, really, to, to the whole thing. Um, am I surprised why what's happened? probably not maybe maybe it's probably a little bit even more over the top than what i would have expected but you know the reality is that's what you get with roy Keane. um you know i think we spoke about this in a couple of the shows a couple of the preview shows there uh the last week or so you know with Keane, you've always had this this side really this kind of anger possessed man or whatever you want to whatever you want to call it but you definitely have that edge the whole time um in so many examples over the years of it um you know you just have to do a quick google search there and you'll see multiple multiple incidents of it but you know he was always able to counteract that with performances on the pitch performances that made a big difference on the pitch you know he was really was that warrior that game changer but sadly the reality is at the moment that he has this edge to himself that hasn't changed if anything probably it appears maybe um it's got a little worse but He's not really, you know, the the positives with it are very, very hard to see. You can hardly claim that we're, you know, he's part of a management team that's in a very, very negative uh, place at the moment and a part of a squad that's really, really at a low ebb. And, you know, I don't see how that sort of attitude is, is helping the situation or he's going to help the situation at all. It's very old, that old kind of, I don't know, do we call it cloth life um, where, you know, this was the way we used to do it in the, the old days and you know what we're, we're going to keep on doing it um i think football has changed quite a lot um and i don't think it's the best to get the reaction uh, the best to get a you know the kick out of the players you know you know attacking you know as a result of his actions for better or for worse one of our best midfielders you would have to say one a player that's a regular starter this season in the premiership a player that's been very good form in the premiership uh, isn't in the squad isn't available just because of those actions um and i i don't see what that brings i don't see how that helps us in any way and you know people pe you know some people say look it's it's silly to talk about it but i don't care what anyone says this isn't helping the, the declan rice a saga whatever you want to call it at the moment like why would you come into a team that's has such a bitterness into it such a bad vibe you know for better or for worse, you look you look at what Southgate has set up, the camp that he set up throughout the world, you know, prior to the World Cup and right through it. Um, you know, everyone looks in pretty happy spirits. Um, it doesn't appear to be this sort of crap coming out for, for, from their squad. And yeah, like the one of the rumours was before that, you know, Rice was involved um, in this incident as well. Look, we don't really know about that's here, there, whatever, but what I will say is it's definitely not going to help the situation and, you know, even go one step further, probably reluctant to get involved in a camp that's it's it's such as Dowers and all that. And I think it's interesting to note that O'Neill, this is a couple of times now where he hasn't, you know, he hasn't, you know, usually you would get the, you know, you get the usual fob off story. Um, and, but we haven't with, with O'Neill. He's been met with it, like, particularly, I think it was after Arthur uh, first, uh, and made, he's made it clear that he wasn't going to be joining up with the squad and um, I think one of the things O'Neill said was you know he couldn't deny um, that you know the Raul Keane hadn't been a factor um, something similar he kind of came out with as well today about the, in reaction when he was asked about the, the WhatsApp video or whatever the incident you know so he's it's not as if um, O'Neill is kind of you know turning a blind eye and publicly defending him if anything it's the complete opposite and you know you go you, you can get a lot deeper into it in terms of you know is your should your system manager be so high profile should your system manager be new so many press conferences should your system manager be such box office um should your system manager have such an ego etc 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 um 
again, like like I would say like at the start was that that's fine if he's backing it up in terms of you know the positives outweigh the negatives, but it doesn't appear to be that way. And you know if you want to if you want to go even one step further, you know it, it's the biggest irony going. Like how many friendlies does Keane did Keane miss over the years with you know Facebo um, injuries etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it seems a bit rich. Um, from coming from someone like him, you know, giving out about players not training about three days in a row, etc., etc. Et um, there's still the players that he allegedly had a row with, or players that turned up and have turned up quite regularly for for both camps and uh, and games, etc. So, it just seems all a bit rich, and it, it it's it's hard to see how things get any better from this. As I said, you know, there's enough bad vibes going on at the moment with the squad, with the results, with the performances, etc. It's another. It's another piece of bandwagonry, you know, a negative a negative vibe that we don't need and that a Martin O'Neill doesn't need and the whole football team doesn't need, you know. It's completely outshadowed. You have a game tomorrow night against Poland, you know, people aren't even talking about that anymore. They're just talking about this, did you hear what Keane said, etc, etc. Even non-football people are coming up to you, did you hear, did you hear this, did you hear that? And that, that often is the, is, the, is the biggest barometer that you can give in terms of um, just how, how out there a situation like that is. And it's it's very hard to see. Yes, well, like Walters, you know, uh, is still is still still come to camp, etc. Harter isn't there. Um, I'm not sure how many more players would will will make themselves not available if stuff like this happens in the future. And it just seems to be another piece of negativity, as I said, that really really is unwanted at this time. And um, Keane doesn't doesn't strike me as the guy to to reach out and make an apology. Um, who knows what's going to happen here. Uh, there's definitely question marks over the general, you know, the management um, in terms of O'Neill and his tenure in charge. But I'd probably even go one step more. There's probably even a lot of question marks in terms of uh, Roy Keane himself and even Roy Keane under Martin O'Neill because the last thing O'Neill needs is is all this extra, his extra baggage, etc. So look, who knows what'll happen? But yeah, that's just my two t- my two cents on it. Uh, interesting to know your thoughts. It's a fairly de- decisive uh, topic. It's certainly gathered a lot of attention. Drop your comments below. Tell us what you really think. And look, there's a game tomorrow. We'll tr- we'll try and focus on that for now. But it's just a quick summary and a quick couple of my rambling thoughts on the situation. Um, that's it, folks. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Irish Football Fan TV. Make sure you you know follow us on all the social media platforms. Keep an eye out. There'll be more content coming on the games tomorrow. Both the under twenty ones and both the seniors are playing tomorrow. Um, yeah, so loads more content um, to come. Keep an eye on that and we will talk to you all very soon.